So now we're going to look at low cycle fatigue. So let's say we're testing a specimen to a uh, maximum and uh, or a maximum and a minimum strain range. Um, and so it's a strain controlled test and, and we're uh, cycling it up, cycling it over to our maximum strain and then we're coming back uh, to our minimum strain. Um, so what, the first thing to note is as we cycle it's going to take less uh, stress with each round um, to cause the maximum strain. Um, so next we're going to look at a way that we can estimate our damage and estimate when a bar is going to fail. So we can plot our same stress strain data in a strain versus time plot. And what we would see is we would be cycling back and forth between maximum strain Let's call this epsilon max and minimum strain, epsilon min. And this is the same as we had over here on this plot. So we'll just cycle back and forth between our, our maximum and minimum strain. And let's just assume that, that this goes on for uh, some extended period of time. And let's so we're always going to the maximum and we're always going to the minimum. Uh, so what we can do is we can define a half and a full cycle. So a half cycle in this case would be a, a low peak to high peak. So we'll call this a half cycle. And a full cycle would just be uh, peak to peak or zero to zero. Um, so we could call this here to this here would be a full cycle. So we can use this information then to find uh, the number of half cycles or the number of full cycles to failure. So Collins and Mason uh, proposed this relationship shown here where we have uh, two m factors that are dependent on the bar size and we also have this delta um, epsilon which is essentially the length or the distance between our maximum and our minimum um, strains. So using this information we can find uh, the number of cycles where NF is the full cycle or the number of half cycles where uh, 2 NF would be the number of half cycles. Uh, so this is an easy way if you have uh, the same minimum and maximum strain ranges to find the number of full cycles or the number of half cycles uh, that a bar can take before failure.